Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this little horn headdress kind of thing and I did this makeup look. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it right now. It's just this astrology witch with horn thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to call it. It'll probably be in the title. But yeah, we're going to be doing this today. So let's get into it. So what you are going to need is a headband, it could be any headband, it really doesn't matter if it has like a design on it. Um, you're going to need two cups. I also have these like necklaces that I just found and I was like, oh I'll just use those. You're going to need a magazine or magazine paper and some aluminum foil. You're also going to need these fairy lights and these, these feathers. You're going to need and the hot glue gun. There you go. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a piece of magazine paper and you're going to roll it up and then you're going to squish it down and flatten it. And you're going to bring both ends together so it's kind of like a bracelet. This is code word so this is the bracelet part so if you hear me call, call it the bracelet that's what we're talking about. You want it to fit around the bottom of the cup. There's other ways of doing this but this is just like the most frustrating way for me after you get it to fit around the bottom of the cup um, just glue it on then you're gonna take another piece of your magazine paper and kind of roll it up and you're gonna put it around the cup inside the bracelet part and glue it on there and then you're going to take another piece of magazine paper and the opposite way you're going to put it around the bracelet part and you're going to glue it and then you can just like squish it all together so it kind of looks like a horn grab another piece of magazine paper and stuff it into the cup section this is just gonna you know add more um i guess stability I, I really don't know why I did this I figured it would just flatten it out uh, grab a piece of foil paper and you're going to wrap the um, horn in the foil paper you don't want to squish the foil paper in there yet we're going to push down all the sides of the foil paper on the cup part and kind of like smoothen it so it's circular at the bottom and then you're going to squish the top part so it's like the little pointy part of the horn and then just kind of mold your horn the way that you want it to be now after this um you can paper mache it but i'm very impatient and i just don't want to wait that long for it to dry so I, i'm just painting over the foil paper which can also be time consuming, but it's less time consuming than actually putting paper mache and waiting hours and hours and hours. So um, I'm using this paint. I actually got it from Walmart and um, I'm painting all over the, the horn. I think I did three coats of paint on each horn. It was a little bit difficult to do because I was holding it from the tip and it would always like squish in or move so I, it was just very difficult to do but yeah I would definitely recommend that you do the paper mache method before or instead of doing this because there are a lot of little cracks and crevices that you have to get into and if you have a giant brush like I do it's gonna be very difficult and I wasn't thinking to get my smaller brushes and paint it but yeah I didn't paint the bottom though um, just because I didn't feel like people were going to see it, so there was really no point of doing it. I also didn't want to paper mache my horns because I like the whole like 
nasty old wrinkly look of these horns it looks really really cool in the end they look pretty awesome So while the horns are drying, I kind of started on the headband part. You can have your headband vertical or horizontal like I have it. I started off with a couple of feathers and I bundled them together and kind of tied them with a string. But uh, after a while it kind of got very difficult with these nails that I couldn't really tie a knot with the string so I just decided to put the feathers in um, one at a time and kind of like glue them all together. At first I wanted to put something in the middle of the feathers like on top of them but um, what I wanted to use just didn't stay on so I ended up just leaving it the way that it was. You're going to take one of your necklaces, these are just the cheapo necklaces that you could probably get at the dollar store, and I cut um, right down the middle I guess you could say, and I glued two beads right next to the feathers, and then I am kind of measuring out where I want the end of it to be, and then gluing it on the end of the headband, and then cutting off that little excess part. And I should have measured it before. I did the other side or before I cut it off because it was very difficult to do it. So right here I'm just showing you um, how I kind of like stuck the lights onto the horn. I twirled, I twirled, I like uh, wrapped it around, there you go, I wrapped it around the horn and I glued the battery pack part to the back of the feathers because I wanted the feathers to stick out a little bit more. Um, I actually turned the head Head, what is it called? The head. Uh, I just said it. What is it called? The head dress. There you go. The head dress. <laughs> I turned it around because the angle that I was gluing it from the first time was very difficult. So I'm gluing it here again. And then I am showing you here how I wrap it around. And I glue every um, every so often, like the little wired part. I glue it just so that it'll stay in place. So I wanted the end of the wire or the lights to be right at the tip of the horn just so that it'll look, it'll look cool and kind of lit up. So that's basically what I did. So now we're on to the face. I'm taking this cream face paint. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. But I've had this for a while and uh, it still works pretty good though. But um, I at first was taking it and putting it on my face with the sponge, but it was just not really working out well. And I felt like the sponge was kind of eating up most of it, so I decided to use a brush. My vision, quote unquote, was to have this very, very opaque white on my face so that like you couldn't see my skin color. But it just really wasn't really working out with me, so... Uh, this is the third coat and after the third coat I just kind of stopped. I was like, no, this is gonna work out with me. Um, we'll just figure out something else. And so uh, after I finished with the white, I went on to the black. And the black was a lot easier to get on and make more opaque, um, which was great. And I made sure to keep it around the eyes and not anywhere like on the eyelids or anything because I, I'm not trying to die today, guys. And I did three coats of black as well. This part you probably want to block your eyebrows. Um, I didn't because I didn't have a glue stick so it would probably be very wise to do so. I am taking some translucent powder and putting it on top of the white area first 
and then on the black area i'm only saying this because if you put it on the black area and you're kind of ditzy like me and you accidentally rub it uh your brush is going to turn black and it's probably going to get your white section kind of black as well and it's not fun so be wise my friends be wise Next, I am taking some purple highlighter and putting it on the black area, kind of making this little um, kind of galaxy effect look thing on the black area. And because I wanted to see how it looked first, and I was like, oh my god, this looks so pretty. So I'm taking some of this blue eyeshadow. This is the first time that I've ever done this look um, because it wasn't what I was thinking of. It wasn't like my vision. So I was kind of like playing with the colors. So I started off with this blue and I realized that it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to. So I went in with a darker blue and kind of blended it between the black and that blue, that first brighter blue. And it worked pretty good. So I decided to use it in other places as well. So now I'm going back in with that first blue and kind of blending it in with the darker blue and blending it out where I feel like it should be. I am still using the same brush, um, mainly because I feel like it, I don't want to dirty more brushes and it's way easier to do it like this and because that's the only brush that I have that can do what I need it to do. I originally wasn't going to put anything on my eyelids because I wanted to do like something different but it just made more sense to put it on my eyelids. And now I'm taking a shimmery dark purple and if you've ever seen the sky you know that there is not just orange and then yellow and then like purple. There's like splats of purple and blue and like there's different colors in the sky. So I really wanted to kind of mix in some colors in different places so I put in a the darker shimmery purple with the blues and then I'm going in with a lighter purple and kind of going around every other color. Now I'm taking this shimmery pink which at first I thought was a good idea but it just was too bright for me and I didn't like the fact that it was shimmery um, so I, I guess I'm just using it as like a base or tra transition I don't know it's just there now so I took this weird red orangey color and put it on top of that and it seemed to work a lot better and in real life this looks a lot more saturated so it looks so much more prettier now I'm taking an orangey color and putting that right below and kind of blending it out I really wanted to put it a lot lower, um, well now that I'm looking at it I, I should have put it a lot lower because yellow was the last color that I was doing and look at all that white left. I put yellow all over that white so it was kind of ridiculous. But yeah I decided to use like a shimmery yellow. All of this like I could have done these colors or I could have used the colors from the Cara Beauty palette that I have but I just didn't want to ruin that palette it's so pretty I ended up taking the yellow all the way down to my neck or close to the end of the white I didn't want to but then I felt like it would just look weird if I stopped where my chin was so I just let it This is what I was dreading, taking out the Cara palette and just using it. I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to mix the colors in and ruin it, but here it goes. I'm taking the orange and kind of blending it between the orange that we used before and the yellow. And then um, 
some are in this area. <laughs> I'm actually mixing in the yellow and the orange in that palette and blending it. So I'm taking some of the yellow from that Cara palette and putting it where the yellow is because that that yellow is a little bit more vibrant and saturated and I just I wanted to put it on my face. Now I'm taking a pen liner, I guess you could call it, and I'm doing wings. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate lashes. I hate them. They're so ugh. Like they make me, they give me headaches and I just can't stand them. So I always try to do a wing, even if it's not necessary, I still do it. And my eyes look kind of sad and they needed. They needed some friends up there. I'm just brushing my eyebrows because they look ridiculous, but I don't think that did anything. But I am putting on mascara now. So now is the fun part. We're going to take some of that cream paint and a small brush. And we're going to draw on some stars. And right here I'm just drawing on the four line stra straws. Stars. <laughs> Like we used to do in third grade, remember those? When we didn't know how to do stars, so we made little crappy stars. I wanted to keep it where the purples and the black and the blacks and the blues were, but for some reason I decided to put a star right by my lip, which makes no sense because there are no stars where the sun sets. I also wanted to keep the stars in one area. But then I thought, you know, that's kind of dumb, so I just ended up putting it everywhere. I think this would have been better if I had the toothbrush and I did like that little toothbrush effect that all the artists do where they like splat paint all over the surface and it looks really, really cool and you don't have to actually do the little dots and stuff. But I didn't have a toothbrush because your girl is broke, okay? I mean, I have a toothbrush for myself, but not for this one. I kind of skipped ahead, sorry. But um, now I'm drawing a crescent moon on my forehead, and this part kind of takes me off because I didn't do it directly in the middle, but, you know, whatever. Also, I am sorry for that scary, lazy eye. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it. I am so sorry that you have to see it. It is disturbing. I wish you didn't. But it's there for all of us, for the whole world to see. I am drawing a circle on the bottom, on my chin, for like the sun, I guess. And just filling it all in. The sun really didn't come out the way that I wanted to. Um, I, it basically doesn't even look like it's there at the end. So. Yeah, you're gonna set the moon and the sun with translucent powder. And then with the moon, I actually used this little eyeshadow trio thingy. I used a like gunmetal color and a silverish color kind of blended them together and put it on top of the moon. And then for the sun, I am starting with this yellow and putting it right in the middle. And then I'm going to take that orangey red color and put it everywhere else and kind of blend it. And then after that, I blended that orange from the Cara palette into it and I just was blending it all together and it really didn't come out the way that I wanted to. But it's, it was there, so you can't really see it. But. <laughs> so I just put on a turtleneck and some black leggings and 
here comes the headdress and hopefully yours doesn't fall down like mine does but there we go and that is the final look at guys uh, guys what the hell? i hope you guys liked it it was my very first time trying it and it looks pretty dope but i will see you in my next video bye yeah you know no better say you're different who you kidding yeah you know no better Ooh, say that talk for the ones who don't know no better cause baby i know you